Hi, my name is Damian Scott, and I'm from Healy Brothers in Goshen. We're here at the Senior Center in Woodbury. We brought a brand new 2023 Mustang Mach-E. We're here to tell you about the benefits to EV ownership, and if you come on down, we'll even let you test drive it as well. We've got vouchers for a $500 uh, Visa card towards your installation of your charger if you do end up with an EV vehicle. So come on down and drive one. So it's currently on, right? Now, if it's ready to drive, depends on if you hit that push button when your foot was on the brake or not. I did. It says awesome. ready. So then, then, then we're ready to drive. So yep. I had no idea I turned the car on. These are as quiet as a mouse. And you'll see when we start driving, they're very smooth on the road as well. Uh, that's really one of their main selling points, right, is how comfortable they are as well. So people think EV, they think efficiency, but also they're, they're very comfortable. Okay, so... Make sure... Uh, Everything's all right. Let me listen to his so spiel. Yeah. Right, I want to listen. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> my son. Oh, yeah. Take awesome. Yourself, He's a nice guy oh, when he finish. was in here, just so yep. you know. He was very respectful. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. So, yeah. yeah. So, what I was saying though, some one nice thing you can do is you can actually tell the vehicle to get preconditioned before you leave the house. So, while it's still charging on the grid, mm -hmm. it'll pull that power from there instead of the from car. The now, so when you're home charging, right before you leave the house you can tell it hey i'm leaving soon right i'm leaving at 10. then around let's say nine or not whenever it decides to, right to start it's going to precondition the temperature on the battery it's going to precondition the vehicle inside the cabin right it's going to get your seats warm your heated steering wheel so like that an way automatic coffee maker type of thing like every every day at 7:50, it gets ready so i can leave by eight so you can do that as well but I guess the main point I'm making is if you do all this and you tell it to get ready to leave before you unplug it, it's gonna draw it off the grid and not off the car. So then when you leave, you don't have to get it warm and drain the battery, it's already warm when you leave. Uh, yeah. So that's one of the like the really good tips to use if you ever get in an EV vehicle is you can precondition the car before you leave so you're not draining your battery, just get warm while you're already gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> so same thing applies when you're going to a charger, you can set that charger in the navigation system and it'll get your battery ready to charge before you get there. EV and they're so quiet, it has to give a chime to the people outside to know you're backing up. Okay. Because it, you wouldn't be able to hear anything coming. Right. So you can hear that, that's outside the vehicle. So that's outside the vehicle. That's not for us, yep, so that's for them. Not? Yep. So, and then that backup camera shows you where you're gonna end up. So you can see those white lines when you turn the wheel, we'll show you exactly where you're going. So, so take all the time you need, no worries. Right. We're not in a rush. It takes some getting used to for sure. It's a lot to learn. Right. So, so I'm so used to that's why I turned around. I'm like, oh yeah, yep. I don't have to do that. And that window is not very big though. Yeah, I understand, yeah. Yep. I guess because you have this very big window. And that's kind of the case, yep. So you'll feel you get instant get up and go. Yeah. They're a whole lot of fun <laughs> to drive. Um, and then as you're braking right now, you're recharging your battery. Right, so when you finally come to a full stop, it's going to tell you on that screen in front of you how well you did braking and regenerating. You have to step on the brake for it to actually step on the brake. For the regenerative braking to occur. Not just take your foot off. Correct. The gas. Now we can set it for the one pedal drive, and that's where it would, when you take your foot off the gas, it's automatically going to brake. Just most people have never seen that before, so I don't want to start you off driving with that, and then you, you go and it instantly, it feels a little odd at first. It takes some getting used to. I've, it's like a snowmobile. Correct, like a snowball. Exactly, yes, sir. <laughs> right. Bring it up to full speed. Of yes, have some oh, fun. No, yes. You're not get it. You're not I'm get not going to get a ticket now. Huh? Well, we pay the speed of tickets anyway, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bad joke to make. <laughs> get back there with some tickets. So the slower, more gradual stop that you come to, and it just takes yeah. some getting used to. I know you're not driving a vehicle; you drive every day, right? Um, but the better you, you get used to that, the more efficient the vehicle will be. Interesting too, because this is my first time driving an electric vehicle. Yeah. How much quieter they are yes. compared to um, any ICE engine. 
Right, so that's one of the major benefits. Then plus how smooth they are on the road. Oh yeah, it's very smooth. The, the acceleration, the brakes. I mean, it's a it's a new car, so yes. but the braking is very you know on point and everything. And I, I also noticed I didn't notice this before, but you have the actual range of how far you can go, and then correct and the percentage and, your, and the distance traveled. Yeah. Yep. yep. Also, I like when you have this built-in navigation system, it shows you your speed limit right next to how fast you're actually going. Oh, yeah. On that and, screen. And it's this this screen, too, is very, um, on some of the, like, I think, like, a 2013 my parents had mm -hmm. in their Suburban, the navigation screen is, like, half this or, like, a third of this, much smaller. Right. This is nice and big. You can see it mm -hmm. and everything. I'm guessing, too, nighttime swings around. It is a dark mode it probably. It will dim out for yeah. you as well. So that actually happens automatically with those automatic headlights. Mm -hmm. So as the headlights turn on automatically, it dims out everything else knowing that it's dark out. And you can actually precondition the vehicle inside so that when it's heating up, it's actually draining off the grid and not off the car. Mm. You see what I mean? So before you leave the house, if you do everything right, the vehicle should be 80 degrees inside if you're me, because I like it warm. And fully charged, ready fully to go. Fully charged, heated seats are already hot. You see what I mean? And, and everything is just ready to use your charge for your drive. Now, yeah. when it comes to if you're on one of those long road trips and you need to stop and charge, if you set the navigation, our Ford built-in navigation, right? Not mm -hmm. ways on your phone or, or you Google use or hours. The car is actually speaking with the navigation system and it's telling it you're going to a charger. So on the way to that charger, it's gonna to start to cool down your battery before you get there. And then when you get there, you'll get the fastest charge speed because your battery's not overheated yeah, when you start yeah, to charge. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting, I didn't yes. realize that. 